It's like a symbol that Tatars and Russians are living together. Two different religions are living in peace. My name is Anastasia and I'm from Russia, from Tatarstan Republic. Okay, that's great. So, um, today we're going to be talking about Kazan, because Kazan is in uh, Tatarstan and it's yeah. also the OIC youth capital. Yeah. So, I've, I've just seen a lot of pictures about the culture, about the heritage, about the food, and it seems like it's a very young city full of young and vibrant people. So, we're just going to be talking a little bit about that. But uh, first, I want to learn about the language part. Uh, what language do people speak in Tatarstan? So there are living Tatars and Russians. That's why uh, from the childhood we are starting sharing with culture, with languages. For example, from the young age, uh, I started to learn Tatar language. Then I was learning it uh, at school, at the university. That's why everyone knows uh, Tatars, uh, Tatar language and Russian language. Okay. But uh, generally, if you're Russian, you talk only in Russian. Okay. But for example, I'm Russian, but I can understand Tatar language. Okay. So, uh, do you have like some uh, phrases that you know in Tatar? Like yeah. For example, if you want to say hello to someone, you say "Isan Mrs." Uh, okay. It, it, it sounds like 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 Turkish. Uh, right. It's kind. Yeah, yeah they're, they are a bit similar. Yeah, there yes. are a lot of uh, words that are similar. For example, book, it's uh, it's uh, kitab. Okay, yeah. yeah. And in Turkish and in Tata. Okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's really similar. Yeah. So, um, Kazan is a city full of history. There's a lot of history in there. And Kazan is one of the oldest European cities. So, let's talk about the historical places. Do you know any uh, historical places that you think uh, everyone should visit in Kazan? Yeah, of course. I think that the famous uh, place and the most historical place is uh, the Kremlin in Kazan. It was built, as I know, it was from the 10th century, so it's very old. Previously it was uh, made of wood, but because of the fire it was ruined, but now it's just uh, made of uh, stone and it's very beautiful. And if you will go to Kremlin, it's, um, uh, it's under UNESCO protection now. Uh, you will see a uh, mosque, uh, uh, the most popular mosque in Tatarstan, I think, it's uh, Kul Sharif. And at the same time you will see church. It's like a symbol that Tatars and Russians are living together. Two different religions are living in peace. Okay, that's great. Uh, you, just, you just talked about the mosque. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's Kul Sharif, right? Kul Sharif, yeah, right. Kul Sharif. It's, it's also one of uh, Europe's biggest yeah. uh, mosques. And mm -hmm. it's, it's a very historical place. Oh. Do you have like any idea about um, how this place plays like a, an important role in Kazan. Like, do many people just go there to visit, or it's also like a very important uh, religious symbol in there? Both of it's like a touristic place. Everyone goes to see this uh, mosque, and at the same time, you can go just to pray there. As I know, it's seventeen thousand people can pray there at the same time. So just imagine how huge is it. And uh, for example, when uh, it's um, a celebration, I mean Muslim celebration, uh, everyone goes to Kul Sharif. Okay, that's, that's awesome. So, how many UNESCO heritage sites are in Kazan, or that you know of? How many UNESCO Well, I know exactly uh, about Kremlin mm -hmm. and about Bulgar. Okay. It's uh, the oldest city near to Kazan, it's about just 140 kilometers from Kazan uh, and it was the capital of Golden Horde that's why it's still under UNESCO protection just to say this beautiful and very historical place okay so let's say that I am a tourist right yeah. let's say it's my first time in Kazan and you just meet me outside on the street and I'm asking you like, <laughs> hey I'm just here for two days I want to see this beautiful place where yeah. should I go give me three places that you are going to tell me to go to Okay, the first place is Kremlin, okay. for sure. The second place is Bulgar. Okay. And the third place is the Temple of All Religions. Okay. It's not right in Kazan, it's near to the city, but it's an amazing place. It's the symbol of our 
of our unity of religions. Uh, it was built in uh, 2000, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It's not so old place, but it's a symbol uh, that all people in Tatarstan living together, the whole religions. There should be 16 religions which are located together. Uh, you can't pray there. It's like a museum. You just can come and see the whole Muslim, uh, I mean, mosque, church, synagogue. Um, do people in Tatarstan like sports? Yeah, of course. What are the most popular sports in Tatarstan? Well, actually, there are, we have a lot of sport events in Tatarstan, especially in Kazan. Maybe you've heard that we had uh, a football world championship, FIFA, 2018. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we had Universal in 2018, uh, 2013. So, and we have FINA diving, uh, no, sorry, we had, um, uh, we hosted FINA 2015. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of people are interested now in uh, sports and sport events. Uh, we have a uh, hockey uh, team, Al like Bars. It. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> but uh, if, I will, uh, if I would be a man, I would choose football. football. <laughs> now, let's talk about the food. Yeah. Uh, you told me that in Kazan it's it's a mixture of cultures, right? Different right. cultures, mm -hmm. different uh, people coming together and living together. Yeah. Uh, tell me about the traditional breakfast that you have. What is on your plate? Let's say you're in your country right now. Mm -hmm. You are in uh, Kazan. You just woke up on a weekend. You want to have breakfast. What food is on your plate? Well, it's uh, normal. Like everywhere, we eat porridge. For example, cottage cheese, etc. Not so, uh, I mean, it's not like traditional food. It's normal, like everywhere. But we have national uh, sweets, for example, chak chak. Yeah, I, I, I actually read that chak chak is like the national dessert, right? Yeah, it is. It's with honey. Honey. So, how do, do you know how to prepare it? Like, or maybe like the, the ingredients? What is inside chak chak? Oh. Uh, it's honey. Yeah, uh, there is honey, mm -hmm. egg, uh, oil. Mm -hmm. So it's egg, flour, oil, and honey. Okay. So, uh, do do you eat this uh, like all the time, or there's like a special uh, event that you eat this special dessert? No, it's uh, like normal sweet. You can buy it in every market. Uh, if you like it, you can eat it every day. For example, I really like it, okay. and when I come home, I always go to market That's just to buy chak chak. Okay, so like the moment you get off the plane, the first yeah. thing you're getting is chak -chak. yeah. The the main goal is just to find chak chak. <laughs> okay, um, what does chak chak mean? Does it have like a, uh, uh, a special meaning? It's uh, small, small. Okay, small, small. Uh -huh. Is it Russian or it's uh, uh, it's Tata. Tata. Yeah. Cha -cha. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll And there there uh, there is one more food. It's mm -hmm. Tata. It's uh, Ishpishmak. Maybe you've heard it. It's uh, it means triangle. Mm -hmm. uh, Ish it means free. Okay, so uh, like three is uh, like angle. angles. Or angles, angles, right? Like okay. Uh, and it is uh, filled of uh, potato and meat. So, uh, what about drinks? Do you have like some very cool traditional drinks that uh, people generally drink? For example, like in, in, in Turkey, they have like Iran. Do you have like something like that, uh, or something that is very local to your uh, region? Yeah, that, if, that we, if we will talk about Tatarstan, you should drink our Tatar tea. Tatar tea. Yeah, it's is it like very different from uh, the, the other tea? Uh, uh, it's with uh, mint. Mint. Yeah, oh, but nice. but it's uh, very soft. Very soft. It's, yeah. it's not like very bitter. It's very uh, soft. Yeah, it's not like peels. I mean, oh, okay. It's not like medicine. Oh, okay. okay. It's nice. Like, <laughs> you know, if you're drinking it, you don't have to like you know change your face. And no, no, no. Out. It's very oh. tasty. <laughs> What's the most popular type of music in Kazan? What do young people listen to? Do they listen to uh, folk music? Do they listen to pop? Do they listen to I don't know. What do they listen to? We're well, listening. We're well, listening different music. Different uh, yeah, uh, as I am, as, um, as I was born in Tatarstan, I, I can listen to uh, Russian music and Tatar music and English music. It just depends uh, on, on, the on, on, on the on the day on the oh. mood. 
But if you will ask uh, which music we know, I, I mean, everyone knows Tata music, it will be Tuhan Yak. Okay. Uh, everyone, if you will just turn on this music, everyone will sing it. Alright, uh, like, what does it sound like? Uh, Can you just give us like a demo, like a one second demo? <laughs> Tuhan ya kan yo to teman Tuhan ya Tuhan ya in gözler hazis ya ka Tuhan ya Tuhan ya şirşerek tere peşken şak Tuhan ya Tuhan ya That really went well. I I think like we should just make changes into like a music yeah. segment. Like your voice was really good uh, going well. Uh, like what's the meaning of the song? Uh, it means um uh, it doesn't matter where I'm here now, I will come back to my motherland. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. It, uh, it sounds good and it has got a very, like, very good meaning. Uh, we're just going to play a little game. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say a word in English and yeah. you're going to say that in... Which one do you want to use? Do you want to use Tatar language or you want to use Russian? I prefer Russian because I'm not sure that I know in, in okay, Tatar. that's great. Okay, so I'm just going to say a word and you, you're just going to say immediately okay. uh, in your native language. Okay. okay? Car. Mashina. Cloud. Uh, Oblaka. Fashion. Moda. People. Люди. Youth. Moldest. Mountain. Uh, gara. River. Rika. People. Люди. Okay, you're so <laughs> you got, you got. Okay, great. Uh, let's say someone wants to visit uh, Tatarstan, they want to explore uh, Kazan, they want to see the beautiful culture, they want to see the beautiful food. Uh, what word of advice or what would you tell them before they come? Okay, um, so I always say it uh, to my friends and to tourists. Uh, if you want to work, you should go to Moscow. If you want to uh, see the culture of Russia, you should go to St. Petersburg. But if you want to stay for living, you should go to Kazan just to see uh, how people could be kind and uh, uh, if you want to feel the this friendship atmosphere, friend atmosphere, uh, you should go to Kazan for for, for sure. There, are, uh, it's very historical and very cultural uh, place uh, with different religions, with different nations. You will. Uh, you, you will feel like you're at home for sure. Okay, that's really great. Yeah. So thank you very much for coming. And, thank you. Uh